Nicole here for a cherry on top and today I am doing Technique Tuesday which this month is focused on washi tape. So um, that's what I'm going to use. I am taking, I mean I'm using this picture of my Valentine's Day charcuterie board and I'm going to use this uh, washi tape from Doodlebug I believe and um, I'm going to use these puffy stickers and a stamp and some sequins and this collection from American Crafts called Cutie Pie. And so I'm just going through the paper seeing what I might use or not. Um, I decide to use the pink, light pink heart paper. Uh, this one right here. And um, I did pull out some stuff that I might use as well um, from the cut aparts. I thought that I would use some stuff and in, in reality, I did not use anything from those. Oh no, that's not true. I did use a three by four card to um, mat behind my photo. So um, I'm cutting the branding strip Oh, I also pulled out the butterfly paper so I can fussy cut some butterflies and put that on my page. There we go. Um, so here is what I'm doing with my washi tape. I am not measuring this. Um, I am just going at it. What I'm doing here is just adding a frame to my page by adding um, four strips of washi tape. So there we go. There's my... Um, technique of how you can use your washi tape and um, it actually has a very bold feel to it so um, especially when it's bright and black like this against something pale and pink um, here I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my title I wind up just using the sweet from the puffy stickers right there and um, I go off screen to distress my photo and I do that over my garbage can so that all the little bits fall into the garbage can instead of all over my desk. And then there's that three by four card that I'm using. Um, I distress that as well and I'm going to put my picture right there. I'm going to start with some stamping. I'm using this Lawn Fawn stamp. Um, it is a very beautiful stamp and I'm going to go ahead and take some of the hearts um, two outline hearts and one solid heart and um, as you can see here I went ahead and put my title so that I knew where I would add my stamps I have yet to put my pictures down um, for sure but um, oh and then that's the stamp cleaner I use which is the Brutus Monroe stamp cleaner squeaky clean stamp cleaner and it works beautifully so here I'm using the second um, size of an, a heart outline and then now I'm going to use a teeny tiny solid stamp heart stamp and I'm going to add that all over everywhere <laughs> Just going crazy with the solid teeny tiny heart. And um, like I said, this is the Cutie Pie collection from American Crafts. And I think I'm done adding those stamps. And I'm using my Brutus Monroe squeaky clean stamp cleaner again, which I really like. And let's see what I do next. Um, I get rid of the stamp for now and here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put down my photo with some dimensional tape. As you can see there, I am um, just using the tape, putting it down, and then I'm going to use some more tape to put um, like a double layer of dimension why can't I talk right anyway um I can never think of the words to say okay so here we go I'm going to am I going to bring that out 
What am I doing? I start going through... Um, well, first I use these flowers. They're from Little Birdie. And um, I'm going to have everything linked down below for you so you don't have to uh, worry about that. And... I'm just going to glue these down with my art glitter glue. Then uh, I think next I'm going to be going through the die cuts from the Cutie Pie Kit. I am. I do have these. This one was handy. And I'm going to use that one that says, I love you. And then I'm going to bring out some more. So I'm just going through... The die cuts, um, I liked this one. It was like a little heart candy. And I do have candies on my charcuterie board. I have um, the Pepperidge Farm cookies, raspberry chocolate cookies. I have some dark chocolate covered freeze dried raspberries. I have the strawberry kisses. I have strawberry coated pretzels. I have strawberry wafer sticks. I have the Valentine's Day um, M&Ms. I have some um, mini frosted strawberry Pop-Tarts. I have some strawberry wafers. I have strawberry Pocky sticks. So that's me and my girls made our charcuterie board and we thoroughly enjoyed some of the stuff and some of the stuff we will never have again. <laughs> um, but everything did um, look beautiful before we started eating it. And then we ate it and it was, like I said, some of it was delicious and some of it not so delicious. So as you can see, I found all of my die cuts that I wanted and then I went ahead and distressed those with my fingernail. Um, as you can see here. And then I'm just going to put most of them down with my Tombow tape. Um, I do wind up um, fussy cutting off this white edge of this cupcake. And then I put this down with some dimensional tape. I forget to rough it up with my fingernail. So you'll see me doing that in a little bit. Um, this one I go ahead and rough up and then I put it down with both tape and um, dimensional foam. So now I'm going to go ahead and put that one up on foam and also with tape. And then this little blue heart, which I brought, wanted to bring some of that blue up to the upper cluster. I'm just going to use my tape runner on that. And here's where I figure out, oh, I didn't do any of that distressing of that little cupcake. So I did the whole thing. And then I'm just kind of bringing up um, little areas of all the other ones that I put down. Here is where I'm going to fussy cut my butterflies. Um, there's three different color combinations for these butterflies. There's, um, one of them has like a purplish color and that's the only one I didn't use. The other two are like red and pink colored. So those are the two that I'd use. And you can see here that I'm just fussy cutting, um, around them. I'm not being precise. I'm just doing it around and then I'm going to, um, fold them so that there's a flat part where the body is and then that's the part that I'm going to glue to the page and then the wings I um, fold up. So that's how I did those. Now here I'm bringing in some sequins. These um, are like an iridescent sequin so they're super sparkly but they're also clear so they don't you don't really see them that great when I'm making a video or in still pictures, but up close they are so sparkly and so beautiful. Um, I did go ahead and put those down off camera with my art glitter glue, and now I'm bringing in some um, Delusions Post Box Red Spray, and you can see I'm just using the nozzle to add some little doodle circles there as well. 
and then that's it. So um, thank you for watching. I'm going to have everything posted below, um, all the links to all the products that I'm using. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a um, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.